Marilyn Monroe's body was found in the bedroom of her Los Angeles home in the early morning hours of August the 5th, 1962. The police were summoned. I received a phone call at approximately 3.45 a.m. from the doctor who told me that Marilyn Monroe had died from an overdose of sleeping pills. The house was relatively dark. I walked up to the house, entered the door, and I was shown into this bedroom. Sergeant Jack Clemens of the Los Angeles Police Department was the first investigating officer on the scene. Marilyn was laying on the bed, face down. She was nude. A sheet was over the body. Numerous bottles were on the nightstand next to the bed. I was shown an empty bottle, which two or three days before, the prescription had been filled with Negatol. I was told that Marilyn Monroe had apparently swallowed all of the remaining pills in that bottle. Police Sergeant Jack Clemens says what he saw in Marilyn's bedroom that night was not typical of a sleeping pill overdose. There was no uh, evidence of a person dying in this fashion. There was no uh, vomit or regurgitation in the room, none in the bathroom. Uh, there was not a glass of water sitting by the bed. Sergeant Clemens tried to reopen the investigation. It was obvious from the reaction of everybody that I talked to and that other people talked to that the fix was in. The matter was simply a closed book in their minds. They did not want to hear any facts that did not support the conclusion that had already been announced to the press. And his opinion of the real cause of death? I believe Marilyn Monroe was murdered.